Welcome back to my channel. This is Jerby from Couch Wasabi and today I'm going to be sharing with you my first time tattoo experience. If you're interested to get a tattoo, please keep on watching. Before anything else, I just want to share with you how much I love this shirt. If you're familiar with this guy, please comment down below who you think this is so I know that you're watching my video. Anyway, so my first tattoo, um, I got it last October of last year. I won it through a Halloween contest of Sushi Doll Tattoo. Um, sushi Doll Tattoo is actually one of the top tattoo artists or tattoo parlor here in Metro Manila. Um, I, I was following them for one year already or a year or more already. Just a bit of a background, um, I've wanted to have a tattoo since maybe I was very very young, maybe when I was still in high school. I used to love um, having those temporary tattoos on, those that you apply with water and then you, you um, press it on your skin and then when you remove the paper, there's a tattoo. So I have wanted to, I've long wanted to have one but Everybody around me doesn't want me to have it. My parents doesn't want it. My boyfriend didn't want me to have it. So I decided to join Sushi Dolls Halloween tattoo last October. And I told myself, okay, if I win this contest, then it's meant to be. And I won. So I, <laughs> in two weeks time, upon announcing the winner, I scheduled uh, a session with her. And I had my tattoo. Okay, so is it painful? Well, to be honest, pain is actually very um, subjective. I do think that I have a high pain tolerance. In fact, when I was having my tattoo, I, I wasn't crying. It wasn't painful for me. And I had it over here, which is according to Google, should be painful. It wasn't painful. I, I was even texting and tweeting people at that time. But I do remember that I was tearing up. So I think my body was feeling the pain but my mind was strong to tell me that no it's not painful so um also that this um your artist or a trusted tattoo artist would come into play because uh, a very good and well-trained artist would have um, a lighter hand in doing your tattoo therefore it wouldn't be as painful as uh, an amateur artist so make sure to research, 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 or ask friends who's got tattoo and ask for referrals for a good tattoo artist. Okay, so before anything else, let me just share with you my actual tattoo footage. So things to consider when you're getting a tattoo. Number one, always research about um, the available tattoo artists where you're in. I'm in Metro Manila. I've researched um, articles about tattoo here in Manila. That's how I found Sushi Doll Tattoo. I found this article from Cosmo um, about the top 10 tattoo artists here in Metro Manila and Sushi Doll was one of them. Um, I wanted to have a female tattoo artist do my tattoo. 
and um, that's why I've been following her. If it if not um, sushi doll, I would have chosen Sarah Gobbler, which is uh, the tattoo artist where my friend went. So I've been following both um, artists for a long time now, and I was just waiting for I don't know a, a go signal or a sign or whatever to as to when I should get my tattoo. Next, um, always think hard about the design you want. Do not ever go um, drunk tattooing because you wouldn't want a design that you will regret later on. Plus, you will pay for your um, tattoo and then you're gonna have to pay a sum of money again to remove it. So better think hard and think well about the tattoo design that you're gonna get because your tattoo is your investment. Third, Remember, good tattoos don't come cheap, so cheap tattoos may sometimes mean cheap quality, so be careful. Don't get excited for tattoos that run at around 500 pesos or 800 pesos per design. Be scared, because good tattoos need good ink and good ink needs money. So the minimum right now I think is at 1,500 for a minimum tattoo. When you say a minimum tattoo, it's 2 by 2 um, in area size or in skin size. Well, what I want as a price is a minimum uh, black and white tattoo and I just asked Sushi Doll to upgrade it to watercolor tattoo since it's her, it's one of her forte. Unless the tattoo artist is your friend and can give you a huge, huge discount, then that's when I guess you should trust a 500 peso tattoo. Next, when you have chosen your artist, you have chosen your design, make sure my fourth tip make sure that you are getting a design that's um appropriate with the artist that you are going to be getting your tattoo from because there are lots and lots of tattoo techniques some artists are good at watercolor technique that's what i um got from sushi doll um other artists are more into tribal some are more into geometric some are more into freehand, I don't know. There are so many, so many techniques in tattoo that you should um, consider and make sure that the design that you want would work well with the artist that you're picking. Also, be careful with tattoos that are in foreign language. You wouldn't want to have a misspelled foreign language tattoo, right? So make sure if you're trying to pick, for example, an um, Arabic tattoo, just like Selena Gomez, make sure the tattoo artist is adept in doing Arabic tattoos. Fifth tip, be mindful of the aftercare. Remember, 90% of the turnout of your tattoo actually depends on the aftercare. So each tattoo artist has a different um, tattooing style. So I would assume that they would each have their own aftercare um, procedures. With my... Um, artist sushi doll i actually asked her to send me um her aftercare tips but before leave, leaving her um tattoo parlor i made sure to ask her also um these sets of aftercare procedures so let me share with you her aftercare the one that she sent me okay First is rinse tattoo with mild soap and sterile water after two hours. So I did just that as soon as I got home. I left her parlor with a tissue um, on, on top of my tattoo just to absorb the bodily fluids that will be coming out of the tattoo on the first two hours. Um, other tattoo artists would wrap your tattoo with a uh, cling wrap. I think it depends on the area or how big it is. But I mine was fine with a, a sheet of... Um, kitchen towel so as soon as i got home i washed it with warm water and soap next apply small an amount of trimycin h if not allergic to antibiotic creams or gels or you can put vitamin a and t for sensitive skin or beauty formulas cocoa butter body conditioning cream and spread over the entire tattoo so for this i used my brow house um fix and build kit i put my build kit on my tattoo for the first three days my build the build kit comes in a small 5 ml pot and it's actually a lanolin and vitamin a and d cream that you put while i 
I just thought that whatever I put here on my brow resurrection would probably be the same aftercare that I can use on my tattoo. So I used my fix and build kit on my tattoo and it worked well. After the first three days, I switched to Hyaluron um, Fragrance Free Lotion, which you can buy from Mercury Drug. Next, do not use any other ointment, lotion, nor petroleum jelly. Never ever put petroleum jelly because it will clog up the pores and hinder the healing process of your tattoo. Next, do not expose to direct sunlight. I've been on the beach last week for the entire week and I've been religiously um, putting sunscreen on my tattoo. And that's what you should do too because sunlight can fade your tattoo faster. So. Make sure that you, if you're going to the beach or going up for a dip or whatever, make sure to put SPF 50 or more. I put SPF 100 just to be sure. Next, do not soak in pool or beach for the next, I think it was two months. I'm not that sure. Anyway, so I had my tattoo four months already. Uh, I was able to hit the pool, I think, just two weeks ago, I think. So I was safe. Next, do not scratch when itchy and do not peel off scabs. So you have to make sure that, and patient, not to touch your tattoo even if it's itching. It would start to itch after three days, three to five days. That's the time when it would itch the most. And what I do is I put um, medical gauze and medical tape over it just to prevent um, unwanted friction that may cause unwanted scarring on my tattoo. Remember, when your scab is removed from your skin um, prematurely, it will cause your tattoo to be patchy, and you wouldn't want that. Next, do not do strenuous activities that may cause the skin to stretch like weight, lifting, running, bicycling, and etc. So, I had my tattoo here on my side, by close to my rib, but not really, it's somewhere in the middle. Um, and I noticed that every time I would stretch my hand upward, it would actually hurt. It, you would feel your skin like breaking apart. So, so I would suggest not to do any, um, limit your movements. So you won't have to um, cause your skin to break. And you know, those little movements might cause unwanted details on your tattoo. Next, do not experiment. Just follow whatever your tattoo artist told you if you've if you've approached a trusted tattoo artist then you wouldn't have to worry and you should trust your tattoo artist and for any questions you should contact your tattoo artist asa don't delay i mean you wouldn't want infections in your tattoo that's the worst thing that you want for something that you've paid so expensively for okay so for prices Sushi Doll does tattoo at a minimum of 1,500 for a 2x2 two two black and gray tattoo. Um, their color or white tattoos are priced at 2,000 pesos and their watercolor style is at 3,000 pesos. So it actually depends depending on the details and the size or the difficulty of the design of your tattoo. So make sure to send your um, planned tattoo design. To her via email and then she can give you a quotation i will link her details down below so you can get in touch with her if you like if you've enjoyed watching this video don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about my life and i guess i'll see you in my next vlog bye